hello and welcome my dear students this is Hassan Ashfaq and today I am here with lecture number two in the series of the lectures of the operating system yesterday in the first lecture we actually introduced the operating system we defined the basic functionalities and the objectives of operating system and we defined the objective system in uh, the operating system in terms of its objectives its functionalities and its the task or the main uh, operations which the operating system do today in this lecture we are going to discuss the different processing techniques that are adopted by the operating system to perform its task so without wasting any time let's start okay so first of all let us define what are in fact processing techniques processing methods and or techniques used to process different type of data there are a number of processing methods depending upon the hardware and software capabilities of the computer and the type of data needs to be processed. Yesterday, when we were discussing the operating system, the, we were introducing the operating system, in fact, so we discussed and we described that the basic, system, uh, the basic purpose of operating system is to run the computer system. And the question arises for which purpose we use the computer system. In through computer system we actually execute or we perform our different tasks or jobs that the computer system is supposed to be performing so in order to make the computer system perform those tasks in order to make the computer system to perform those jobs or those uh, functionalities which we want it to do and which it is supposed to do there are different processing techniques adopted by the operating system so the, we know that the basic uh, task of computer system is to process our data and information there are different types of data and different types of information that is being processed by um, the computer system according to the instruction provided by the user or the programmer so this actually this is the responsive or one of the core responsibility of operating system to make this uh, this thing happen which thing they actually the execution of task so there are different processing techniques adopted by operating system to make the computer system perform these tasks or jobs well most common of them are batch processing online real-time processing multi-programming and time sharing so let us discuss each and every one one by one the first one is batch processing now batch by batch we actually refer to a group a group of similar thing over here a group of similar tasks so what happened in the batch processing is in batch processing same type of jobs were batched together and executed at a time what happened was that same type of jobs or the same the job belonging to the same group on the basis of its similarities were grouped together they were not executed one by one or independent of time they were grouped together and they were executed all at once the operating system was simple its major task was to transfer control from one job to the next job when a job would come the operator or the operator would actually decide that to which batch or to which group it belongs to and then it was batched with other jobs belonging to the same group and then at some later time these jobs were run together the job was submitted to the computer operator in the form of punch card at some later time the output appeared the reason for the output to be appearing in the later time because it was not executed on spot it was grouped or batched together with other similar jobs and later on when a particular limit reached these jobs were executed at one go the operating system was always resident in the memory as it is supposed to be which we normally discussed in the previous lecture as well common input devices were card readers and tape drives so here we go this is actually the overall diagrammatic presentation of the batch processing you can see there are different jobs which are received by the operating system when operating system is receiving these jobs it is actually uh, assigning each job to a batch a batch having similar uh, group of jobs so it would assign every job to a batch and later on 
when a group uh, or when a particular limit was reached this batch was processed on the cpu so as you can see that the uh, the jobs or the processes are not being executed independently and individually on the cpu rather they are batched together and the entire batch is run in on the cpu one more thing to be noted here that actually when a batch was run it could not be interrupted it could not so it is it was not good for the job requiring user interaction so because they were run together and they were supposed to be completed at once so it actually discourages or discourage the human interaction during the processing of the program so that's one you can say disadvantage of batch processing the second one is the on ride on the, uh, online real-time processing well that is very very important and that is being done nowadays very frequently real-time means immediate response from the computer by immediate response means that as soon as the data is uh, given input to the computer it is supposed to be processed immediately the delay the delay in the processing of the data is not affordable in on time real on online real time processing it is also known as online processing here information must be made available in time as it happens special type of input and output hardware are used in different situations to accomplish this task one of the example of online real time processing that is very common nowadays is the online or it is the bro live broadcast of the cricket matches you can see that as soon as the cricket match is being played over some part of the country it is actually being broadcast live in the entire world so that is actually the example of on time real time processing as i said earlier that as soon as the data is being produced and it is given input to the computer it is being processed the delay is not acceptable so this what this is what happens in the uh, live broadcasting that as soon as the match is being played here the data is being input into the system it is being live broadcast in the uh, different parts of the world these input and output devices are directly connected to any medium to the computer system to the medium computer system this is called being online and the system is referred to as online system in real time processing system the computer is required to process data at a very high speed yes because they are real time they actually uh, you cannot actually delay the, you cannot delay the uh, processing of data the data as soon as the data is being produced it is needed to be processed at a very high speed so that the reason for the um, high speed of processing of data is that m more and more data is produced every second so in order to uh, quickly or immediately process the data we cannot afford to give a lot of time to the current data because the data is coming continuously and we need continuous processing of the data so um, a quick response and a very high uh, processing speed is the requirement of the online real-time processing systems okay the next this is very uh, important multi-programming and time sharing uh, the reason I have put it in the next lecture is actually it is a complete separate topic although it comes under the uh, processing technique these are the two processing techniques techniques adopted by the operating system but the reason for putting them in the uh, separate lecture is they are very important and they should be considered and uh, discussed uh, independently so in order to uh, understand what is multi-programming and time sharing you need to uh, watch my next lecture well for now thank you very much if you have any confusion or any question regarding online real-time processing and batch processing do write me down i'll try my best to answer it stay tuned and do watch the next lecture for multi-programming and time sharing thank you